Hey, hello everyone and welcome to the first video on this channel. Today I want to show off a UEFI multiboot USB stick that I created. And first of all, we're going to just have a look here and you can see that it says UEFI only. Now, one drawback with this is that you will still have to disable secure boot. So as you can see here, I have disabled secure boot. But it will work with UEFI systems which is definitely a benefit even though secure boot has to be disabled so what I'll do is I'll reboot here and we'll open up the boot menu as I've set my, my old laptop here to boot from uh, the SSD by default boot up here configure this to auto focus there you go as we can see here it will still prompt us for the the um will still show up this will still show up i'm good at speaking yes and if we press it it does actually boot this is created with the utility yummy which you can see the picture down there um Normally, if you've set it to UEFI only on this laptop, it will just flash the boot menu screen and it won't actually boot. But it'll still show the option to boot it. It just won't work. As you can see here, I've created, uh, I've loaded in a few utilities. Uh, not a whole bunch, as I've just figured this out today, actually. Um, I figured it out a while ago, like maybe two weeks, but. I just got around to actually testing it now, and um, it seems to work great. So if I want to, I can boot up, let's say, a Kronos 2020, and it should. So it'll load the whole Acronis system into a memory. You can see this is what it's doing here. And then it will boot up just like regular Acronis will. But instead of being... Um, being BIOS, it's going to be UEFI. So as you can see here, is the Acronis utility. Now this was the showcase of my boot utility version 3.0. Now featuring UEFI boot, which will definitely come in handy at my workplace. Because, um, yeah, we handle a lot of systems and some of them newer won't uh, boot from non uefi things but you're still able to disable secure boot so this will definitely come in handy for resetting passwords that the client hasn't uh, given us so that we can actually diagnose the system so yeah uh, thanks for watching and uh, i hope i'll see you in the next video take care